Hello. I hope this finds you all well. Uh, I'm planning on doing a uh, hangout. I hope to be doing it probably uh, Sunday evening, say around 7 o'clock. Anyone interested in popping in? Uh, I do have a topic this time. How do you know what is real? Is your religion telling you truth? Are your religious leaders teaching the religion they espouse? Or are they misleading you? kind of a wide thing really but uh, let's have fun with it um, I don't think uh, uh, I don't want anyone on there that's out for any gotcha moments uh, let's have a friendly debate if you want to debate about it but I think more of a just discussion questions we might have ourselves about these things about your own faith maybe I have to question mine all the time, and uh, sometimes I get caught up in it, and uh, there are things that I don't remember that are there, and I was caught up by that uh, just the other day, and uh, uh, I got rebuked for it, and I accept the rebuke because I said some foolish things. Um, who doesn't? I apologize to anyone that I might have offended or may feel offended in the comments of the said video. You know who you are. Uh, I forgive you for any errant word. These things can come quite heated and I don't want any heated arguments. So if you can be calm and rational about these things and respect the other's opinion or beliefs whether you agree with them or not because in reality we don't all know anything when it comes to the vastness of this universe we only know that much so to say you know for certain about anything is really kind of funny um, we all have to have something though that we base our belief in what is real. We all have some have to have some way to know it. You know, how do you cure it? Uh, testing it. Are you sure you're testing it right? How do you test it? These things are very vital for survival, actually. Um, Having, see, I'm not a survivalist, I'm a survivor, having survived many hard hits. I've always been a risk taker. And uh, I've been one of those people not afraid to go where everybody else, you know, would say, oh, I ain't going to do that. He'll do it. Yeah. Some some would say, well, that's, that's crazy. Only, only an idiot would do something like that. No, someone's got to do it. You know, some things have to be done, and uh, some people have to take the risk. You know, there's been a lot of, uh, you know, I work, do some of my work can be quite hazardous and dangerous sometimes. Not lately, because I've kind of relaxed, but still, I'm um, in construction now, and construction can be hazardous at times. We all take risks in life, whether you like to know it or not. You can't really step out the door without taking a risk everything dies eventually it lives being afraid of that stops a lot of people from actually becoming what they can be there's a lot of it right there you know what is being a nonconformist a nonconformist is someone that doesn't become what society the world tries to make them a nonconformist works to become who he is or she is despite what they think you know 
know, can we be wrong sometimes? Yes, we can. But uh, is the world right all the time? Is it? So we have to question these things. Um, it's good to question your own beliefs, reflective of your own actions and thoughts. See, uh, we have we can't be afraid to admit when we're wrong. And I have been wrong on many occasions. But it's better to have been wrong or, or failed and tried than to have not done anything at all. It's better that way, yes. At least it will get people thinking. And uh, by the way, I'm opposed to uh, hateful criticism of anyone simply because you do not agree with them. Um, there's much we don't know. So, uh, uh, I hope to see some of you Sunday evening, 7 o'clock Central Time. I live in Oklahoma, so it's Central Time. And hopefully, it will be on the Hell of a Deal channel. I'll try to put a link there when I start it up. But it may be on uh, my Google Plus thing that I had to make to get the Google thing working again. And that's under my real name. And uh, it's just Randy Wise. Uh, if you haven't got uh, a circle with me there, you know, you look for me, you'll see my picture. Uh, and there's no subscribers on that channel. I don't use that channel. I've got 3,000 subscribers around about on the Hell of the Deal channel. On the Hell of the Deal. I'm not worried about my name being known to the world. I'm Randy Wise. And it's out there. You know, there are a lot of Randy Wises in the world, actually. I'm not a car salesman, so after looking up my name, I found that there's a lot of Randy Wises that are car salesmen. And I wonder why that is. Hmm. But I'm sure they don't look anything like me, and I'm sure they don't act anything like me. And I've never met one in my life with my name, so it's a big world, a lot of people in it. I guess I've rambled enough. See you uh, Sunday. I don't know how long I'll be on. And uh, I don't know when or not my internet will go out while I'm on it. So be prepared if it flips out. I'll try to come back on and you'll have to re-go up on again. But hopefully it won't do it this time. It's done it before. Uh, it's either squirrels on the line at my local connection, we got a lot of squirrels in this town, or, you know, uh, cyber wars going on right now, and uh, the current invasion kind of have things, uh, schedules can be changed quickly, you might say. But uh, right now, I'm fine. The world's okay. It's how it's supposed to be at this moment whether we like it or not. True peace is something that comes from within and is spread from without. It's not something you get from out there and take home with you. It's something you have in here and you put, put out there. So let us be at peace. If you can be at peace when times are hard, difficult, and in turmoil around you, the world's falling apart around you, if you can stay at peace during all that, then you'll get through it one way or the other. And remember, everything dies. Fear of death is, is really silly. You know, that's, that's like fearing the sunrise, or fearing the next day, like fearing the 
food you haven't eaten yet because you haven't decided what to eat. It's, it's inevitable. Uh, so, uh, life is living. It's how you live your life, what you do with your life, that makes life worth living. So, be you, not what the world wants to make you. And remember, we're all miracles. If everybody understood that, we'd be having peace right now in the world. Peace, love, and understanding, everybody. Thank you for listening to this rambling old man.